What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming at you guys with a video this morning. Um, the NFL trade rumor for the Philadelphia Eagles hype is on its way. Um, between getting a wide out receiver between Torrey Smith and Alshon Jeffrey. So, I'm going to just explain the difference to what I think is between these two and what they've kind of come into the league as and what what how they're doing uh, production wise now. Um, Torrey Smith, 27 years old, um, has 13 only 13 catches this this season on the shitty ass 49ers offense. Um, coming out of the Ravens four years ago, he signed a, a five year 40 million dollar deal. Um, well. In all the four years that when he was on the Ravens, it was a th uh, I think total yards, total receiving yards with the Ravens. He's had three thousand five hundred ninety-one receiving yards. Um, definitely um, has become uh, worse production now, just because uh, I think he only has two touchdowns. Not doing too well, um, but good ver uh, vertical wide threat. Um, just just not really producing too much on this um, on this team. And Chip Kelly's running it, this fast-paced offense, not doing too well. Um, I don't know how wide outs can even get open when it's this fast-paced offense is so fast, especially for receivers. They're probably fucking losing their breath every time they go upfield. Um, guy is just very, I mean, he he's a speedster, speed demon. I mean, for 27 years old, he's still, he's in the middle of his prime. Um, Guy's definitely going to be going up the, I mean, he's going to be doing really well soon so i'm i'm not i mean any team that gets this guy is definitely he's definitely going to produce especially a team that runs a good offense um a good scheme um not this fucking fast-paced shotgun bullshit um i'm really happy uh tory smith um i mean we get him i'll be happy with it um who can't be happy with it um, not going to complain because we've been, since, since the Sean Jackson left, Jeremy Mack left, we haven't really had a good wide out, uh, speed demon, vertical threat going up the field, um, creating, <coughs> creating space and, um, getting a lot of attention on the offense. So not too bad. Um, so Torrey Smith, um, we'll see what happens. Um, I think he's only had, he's like I said before, two touchdowns this year. Nah, nothing crazy. Too much inconsistency. He had a few interviews where um, he was very pissed off because, you know, just too inconsistent. Um, they're not throwing the ball to him very much. So th if the 49ers are going to blame him for not getting the ball thrown to him because these, quor these quarterbacks can't throw the deep ball where it's shit, especially Blaine Gabbert. Um, and on pressure, he's horrible. So that's Torrey Smith for now. Um, Alshon Jeffrey, 26 years old. Um, this year he has 520 receiving yards. Um, last year he only played nine games with only 807 yards receiving. Um, but coming into the league, I mean, 2013, 2014, great years. 2013, he played the whole season, not 89 catches, 1,421 yards, seven TDs. 2014, he played the whole season, 85 catches, 1,133 uh, uh, receiving yards, 10 TDs. So um, he declined a little bit from 2013 to 14, but he had more touchdowns in 14 than 13 and had more receiving yards in, four, in 13 than 14. So um, producing very well. It's just that you know how the Bears are. They have, I mean, their whole fucking team is just a bunch of, most of their team is draft picks. Twenty five, twenty six of their of their uh, players of their roster are all draft picks from watching Monday Night Football. And here and that, I was like, holy shit! Um, and uh, they're just they want to get have open house, get rid of some people. Um, that's their thing. Whatever they want to do. Um, Howard Roseman, um, the tra uh, jack of all trades, um, getting rid of contracts, getting rid of people, and then now come to this point where we can actually sign a fucking wide out. That we've been looking for for so fucking long for the past two years. Um, Alshon Jeffrey is more dynamic than Torrey Smith. Um, he could extend if the quarterback extends plays. He can extend them a lot more by getting open. Um, I'm not saying Torrey Smith is slow or anything. I think Alshon Jeffrey has better hands. I think Alshon Jeffrey is more dynamic. He can run back and forth. I think he has more stamina. He could just do everything and do it all. So um, not upset over that at all um so 
who would I want more on this team than the other? I would like Alshon Jeffrey because I know he's going to be a little bit more expensive than Torrey Smith, but in the long run, it's going to do us good. We can have a nice wide out for a good five, six years. So honestly, getting either of these guys, either of these guys is good for me, but Alshon Jeffrey is probably the guy that that's my favorite out of, you know, out of each one. So, um, other than that, there's just problems with, I guess, Alshon Jeffrey, his contract, I guess he signed that four year for, uh, that five year 40, uh, not five year. He signed up. Well, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent after this year. So the bears are going to try to want to get something out of him before the deadline on November 1st, when all trades are done by November 1st. Um, and they want to get something out of him because they don't want to walk him walk at free agency and they, they just need draft picks. And apparently, um, but what I read is that they need uh, mid, uh, like um, like at least a third, fourth round pick, maybe both, um, to get him. But he was franchise tagged, so I don't know how that whole thing goes with the franchise tag and all that bullshit. Because I have no idea how that works. All I know is the franchise tag; he's guaranteed a certain amount of money, and he can't talk to other teams. Other than that, I have no fucking idea what else the franchise tag does. And apparently, they have to add years to his contract to trade him to us I, based on the franchise tag of the rules, the mystery rule. I have no fucking idea what the mystery rule is, but um, we'll figure that out when we find out. So um, I'm literally sitting by my phone just waiting for this notification to pop up that we got one of these guys. Hopefully it's Alshon Jeffrey. I'll be jumping for fucking joy if we get this guy. Um, we need him on this wide receiving core. It's going to be a fucking beast when he gets here. Um, between Darren Sproles in the backfield. There's going to be so much attention everywhere. DG, DGB is going to be a fucking beast when we, we can get him more fucking touches. Uh, Nelson Aguilar is going to be off this fucking team, unfortunately, after this year. That's my prediction. Um, Josh Huff has just got more experience, and he's had more luck, unfortunately. And he's a special teams guy um, that's doing very well the past few years. So, ever since he's been drafted. So, I'm not... Um, I'm definitely enjoying this. Um, please like this video if you love the fucking hype of this rumor. I know it's some. I know it's true now. I mean, I know it's true that we're looking at Tory Smith, Alshon Jeffrey. But like this video, please. Let me know who you want on this team. Let me know what you guys think. I really want to hear what you guys, Tory Smith or Alshon Jeffrey, or if you guys know, if you read anything on the internet, read anything by Bleacher Report or any type of um, uh, the uh, Philadelphia uh, Inquirer or whatever, um, please let me know. Um, I'm fucking so excited over this shit and uh, I can't wait. It's going to be a fucking ride. Um, the next few days, hopefully today we hear something or we're close to getting somewhere. Um, but Alshon Jeffrey, Harry Roseman, the magic, the fucking trade magic has to come on. Hopefully the trading gods fucking shed light upon this fucking team and we get Alshon Jeffrey. But either one, I'll be happy with. So, but I really want Alshon Jeffrey. So, I'll see you guys later. Like this video if you're fucking enjoying this hype right now. Fly goes fly and fuck Dallas.